We have over 200,000 members nationally, and we started our own social purpose insurance company here in New York covering 25,000 freelancers. I was asked to come here today to talk to you all about how work looks like now. But in order to really answer that question, I need to answer a much more fundamental question, which is, why work? What is the point? When you start thinking about traditional work and how it's starting to break down, you start to realize that's actually a really profound question. In fact, it's probably one of the biggest questions facing our economy and therefore our society now. And if we ask ourselves the question, why work? It really does beg the question about why are we working in traditional ways? So the best way for me to analyze this as a somewhat serious person is to look at it in three eras. My grandma Esther's era, my era, and my daughter Rachel's era. When I think of my grandma uh, Esther, she made me that dress, I'm the one in the red. She was an amazing unionized seamstress. And for her, the question of why work was that she could have access to what we all talk about with the American dream. She could send her kids to college and have education. And that bargain started to make a lot of sense in her day. But by the time I started to form the freelancers union, it became clear that many people were starting to think about these new ways of working by looking at the traditional work. Why would you go and put yourself in somebody else's uh, office doing their kinds of dreams when you're not gonna get that bargain back for you? So this why traditional work made me think when I was starting the freelancers union in the mid 90s that maybe we could start thinking about freelancing not as where you're being pushed out of a traditional job, but something different. That now what we're starting to see in my era is that people are starting to choose to freelance. And they're choosing to freelance for some very personal and profound reasons. They're starting to ask themselves that question of why work and redefining what success is. Success is no longer just about money. It's not just those who earn the most will actually be successful, but those who have connections to other people. To have a lifestyle that's starting to resonate with how you actually want to live your life. And that, in fact, this is a quiet revolution. The freelance surge is the industrial revolution of our era. And it's a quiet one being made one gig, one job at a time. And what is fueling this is an idea of networks, but not like I network and take my card and meet and have coffee outside in the other room, but that we all have networks that are 360 degrees of who we are. And lest you think this is just an ethereal or fringe kind of movement, it's actually a third of the workforce. One in three workers in America, that's 42 million leading this. And what do they want? They want independence, but meaningful independence. Meaningful independence to do what they like, to do what they love, what they're good at, to structure their day where if the most important thing is to take a bike ride in the middle of the day, well, you can do that, or your gigs in the morning and sing opera at night. But obviously, it comes with trade-offs. People are working often without health insurance or retirement. But they're also saying, I'm going to look at work and maybe not play into this whole consumerist society. I'm going to rebalance my life. And in rebalancing in my work, that means I'm going to be connected through my network so I can trade and barter and outsource work. So I can now start having a life that's much more balanced, which brings to me my, the third era, my daughter, Rachel, the future. She's 12 years old. By the time she graduates from college, this is going to be the norm. And I could only imagine what my grandmother would think of that.
But there's a real opportunity here because this workforce is so entrepreneurial and engaged and creative that if you can make your workplace a place that they want to work in, then we can start having something that will be beneficial and a new bargain that is much more fair and works for everyone. So let me know what you think by on Twitter with hashtag WhyWork, and thank you very much.